to a large degree, the proteins make up and run the cell. RNA is also important, but that's a bit more complex. For the most part, it is proteins which make up and run the cell. Now, the human genome codes for perhaps 30,000 different proteins. Each protein must be assembled. Now, as indicated here, you can see that a protein is a polymer which is composed of individual monomers. So, the little building blocks indicated here are the amino acids, and the long chain of amino acids is the protein. Well, each protein has its own specific order of amino acids. In order to make the protein, the cell must know, does leucine come first or fifth? What comes next? Tryptophan, cysteine, histidine, arginine, glycine. There are 20 different amino acids, and a cell must know which comes first, which comes second, which comes third, etc. If these amino acids are put in one order, then the protein hemoglobin results. If the amino acids are put in a different order, then a dopamine receptor for the brain, or collagen for the bone, or opsin for an eye, or growth hormone for the pituitary gland, etc. Once again, there are 30,000 or so proteins that the human genome makes, each of which has its own specific order. The protein indicated here is a very important one. This is P53. This is a tumor suppressor protein which protects us from cancer. Each of these is the correct amino acid in the correct order. The little tags which you see added in red are incorrect amino acids which different individuals have had which have contributed to their cancer. So, if you change the order of the amino acids, the results can be serious. Once again, each of these changes uh, was a mutation which resulted in cancer. So proteins, and thus the structure of proteins, is extremely important in running a cell. By the way, the first protein which was indicated, the one on the green background, that was the CFTR protein, which is the chloride channel. Uh, if you have a mutation there, and there were some mutations indicated, that would result in cystic fibrosis. How do we know which amino acids to put in which order to make a specific protein? Well, this is where the DNA in the nucleus comes in. Here in this image, you see a chromosome depicted, and note that at certain points along the length of the chromosome, you see squares with certain names. Those are the names of genes, and each gene stands for a protein. So the gene for hemoglobin, or hemoglobin alpha, for example, uh, in, contains the instructions on how to make hemoglobin. The gene for a collagen contains the instructions on how to make the collagen. The gene for an opsin in the eye or a dopamine receptor of the brain has the instructions on how to make uh, these uh, proteins. So proteins need a DNA code before they can be made. These codes are present in genes located on chromosomes. So each gene is located in a specific spot on a specific one of the human chromosomes.